I just made a bad, yeah, I'm up the sun Put up in a foreign dawn, yeah, I'm up the sun With that work, flip that bag, yeah, we up the sun What's going on, guys? So today, we're gonna do we're gonna do two things. I'm at I'm changing the blower motor and I gotta get the pressures right. That's the first job. And then we're gonna go back to an install that we're doing that it's like a tight crawl space and so we gotta do some PVC. So yeah, that's what we got for today. But I'm gonna show you guys how to diagnose how your uh, blower motor is bad. Now, I usually show you how to take the blower motor apart, but we have a million of these units at the shop. So I basically just gotta swap out the whole housing, I can pull the whole housing out and put it in. So that's not really showing you, but it's really simple. When you do take it out, you pull these three screws out. You take out the set screw, the blower motor comes out. When it's older, you need a pulley, but this is a brand new one. You take the offset screw out, and this is the offset screw. That's an offset screw right there. You take that offset screw out, that, that releases the blower wheel from the actual blower motor. You, you take these three screws out. One, two, three, you take it out. And then this is a harness. You disconnect the harness, you change the blower motor, you slide it back in. It should work as normal. You gotta make sure though when you put the blower motor on that it doesn't rub against the, the housing. But when we do a service call and it, and I do get into that, I will show you guys how to uh, take it completely apart. This is a meter. This is an amp clamp. And you put it on amps. All right. I'm gonna turn the fan on. It's gonna make a really bad noise. Even turns on. Action. All right, this is take two. The blower might not be bad. I might just have to just set the off screw. I mean, off screw. Uh oh, I think this place is haunted. <laughs> All right. All right, I'm gonna take this blower motor, out, blower motor out and then we're gonna see. Did you have to take these screws out? Yeah. I took the sides out first and I took that one out and it slid right out. Skills. So we're just going to adjust the set screw. Set it, lean tighten. And hope it works. Looks like it works to me, Pop. It sound like that when you took it out? Nope. You know what it was? Probably was uh, the 
Det här är min för ram. Det är det jag upp. Bra. They let it run. The blower motor was rubbing. But I'm gonna check the amps because it could have burned some winding out too. I didn't realize we we're I didn't realize we we're plumbers today. Huh? I didn't realize we were plumbers today. Oh butt crack out? <laughs> butt crack's not out. I didn't feel it. Exactly what you're saying. Nobody know what I'm saying. Okay, that's good. Then I need to get this motor back into the other unit as quickly as possible before Ramon decides to grab it and sell it with no motor. <laughs> It's Taco Tuesday. It is Taco Tuesday, but it's not Taco Tuesday yet, so I'm not excited about it. We'll get there. A couple more hours, we'll be there. <laughs> All right, guys, so we got to get that ladder through this window. And we got to walk all these steps because my guy likes to leave material in the shop. All right, guys, we're on our way up to the roof. This 10 foot ladder. I don't know if we're gonna get it through this window, but we're gonna find out. What'd you say? About what? Did you open the window? Yeah. I did. Does it look open? Yeah, I'm gonna throw it through the glass. Alright, let me walk around. Alright. Fat boy, we gotta go. Okay. Yeah, I'm good. You see that guy <laughs> on camera? Get y'all killed. All right, guys. It wasn't that bad. It wasn't that bad at all. Mondo, you just make everything bad. Let it go. Please pop. Oh, we're jumping on the ladder.
think he'll make it. If he doesn't, I'll catch him. There you go. That oh, wasn't so bad, was it? Taco Tuesdays. All right. Okay, so guys, right now we're charging a heat pump, CXV meter and device. Um, so that means what is you charge it at do subcooling. Superheat is always gonna uh, dep depending on what the the system's uh, set on. This this system is set at 11 11 degrees superheat. So you, that means you could plus three or minus three. Um, when you charge, it charges a, lip, uh, a liquid, a liquid, and because when you, when you charge it as a gas, because of it, it uh, 410 is blends of different refrigerant of chemicals. It, uh, you can make components separate. You don't want to do that. So when you're when you're when you're charging, you charge through the low side, and the reason why you charge through the low side is because it's entering the compressor. You don't want to ever charge on the high side because it's obviously it's a high pressure. So when you're charging, you want to charge this very slowly because you don't want liquid to flood the compressor and then the compressor runs sluggish. So this is how I usually do it. Right now, it, my sub cools low, low. 5.3 is it's fluctuating. So I open this a little bit for about five seconds. Close it. And I let the system just run for a couple, 30 seconds, 15 seconds, just so the pressures can get right. And I don't want to flood my compressor. All right, guys, so right now I'm checking the Delta T. I'm going to return. We got a 72.5. Let's go see what we got on the supply. And we want an 18 to, we want an 18 to uh, 22 split. It's a degree split. All right, we got a 52 degree. So we got ourselves a 20 degree split. We are good to go. All right, guys. So what happened in the first call was I didn't go finish charging because there was a flood. One of the pipes blew, so I had to turn all the power off to the system, so I will have to go back. But I don't want you to think, like he went to the second call and he completely forgot about showing me super cool, um, super cool, sub cool. Uh, so yeah, um, when I go back, I'll finish that. Um, I just noticed, I was like, uh, dang, you know what? When, when, when you're doing HVAC and you're out in the field and you're trying to get things done, you forget. It's it's really hard to vlog and do service calls, installs. So I'm trying to just bear with me, guys. I'm doing the best I can. Sorry about that. All right, guys. So we're at this roughing we started a couple months ago. And we're trying to finish up this PVC, which is not easy because it's in a crawl space. This is an old, like, I really don't know what it is, but it got something to do with the railroads. It was a loading dock for railroads. So, basically, this is the PVC that we ran. You can't really see; it's dark through construction. And this is—we had to do four, four of these. There's a concentric kit down there. Who you like? Yeah. So that's the concentric kit. So we got to get the, the PVC connected to that. That's our goal today. It's gonna be tight because I can't fit in the crawl space, but. Let's see. Guys, yeah, this is real. This is a very tight spot. So, I just want you guys to know, when I show you this footage, don't think it was done in two minutes. The process is very long. We gotta do two pipes. Mecha Mechanic Mondo. I was gonna call you Macondo. I was gonna give you your own name. How you feeling in there? Uh, you can't get the nut in. Take your gloves off. You got it? 
All right. Okay, what he's doing right now, he's putting a level on it because the unit, I mean, the exhaust has to have a quarter inch pitch. How we looking? It's a little lower. It's too high? Not, not too high, but a little lower would be smoother. Alright, cool. Alright guys, I'm about to uh, primer and glue this. You want to make sure you primer the pipe and the fitting. And you got to go out a little bit because the inspector, he wants to see the primer. So, give it like another inch or two. No primer, you're doing it all over again. Yeah, some inspectors make you cut it out. Get the inside. Make sure the inside nice and primered. See the fit in inside. <clears throat> then you glue. Put a shitload of glue on it. Glue? Huh? Really? It's not a bad word. Push it in. All right, hold it, cause you know it's gonna slide out. All right, that's how you primer and glue. Okay, so Mondo needs a P75 and a half. I already measured it. Like I said before, I use the metal blades to cut the PVC really clean. Okay, we got Mondo in there primering. He's about to glue the last piece for the exhaust. So the exhaust is done. They're hooking the concentric kit. So all we need is the intake. So this is what it looks like. Mondo's working in a crawl space. All right, guys, we finally finished. Four crawl spaces down tomorrow. Duckwork, you ready for that? No. Okay. I am. Duckwork is amazing. Yo, I hope y'all enjoy the vlog. I hope the information that I provided to you guys was good enough. Uh, you know, just comment down below. Hit that like button. Peace.